In this video we're going to be taking a look at how to install the Stranded Wide mod for Stranded Deep. The Stranded Wide mod gives you a much larger world with islands a lot more spread out. Islands are increased in size. As you can see here we're just heading towards the starter island. We're on day one, we've just started and this is a much bigger island than the normal starter island. So all islands are increased in size. Also sharks are more randomly spawned. Islands can also have more random spawners in terms of hogs and snakes on the smaller islands which are obviously now a lot bigger. As we can see from this starter island we can't really see any other islands on the horizon so they're a lot more spread out. Alright so here we go, if we use fly mode to fly up from our starter island and let's just go across and see when we can spot the next island. There we go, so there's an island there. Right, so that's what it's all about. Let's get into how to do it. Right, before we get started, it's always a good idea to back up your game files in Stranded Deep before installing any mods, just in case. So I'll put a video link in the description on how to do that. You can go and follow it. It's, it's this video here from Just Rob. Once you've backed up your game files, head over to nexusmods.com, like you can see here, nexusmods.com. Sign in and set up an account is completely free, and this is where you can get a load of mods from. In the search bar, change this to games, and you can search for Stranded Deep. Once searched, you'll get this box up here. You can click on Stranded Deep and it'll bring up all of the mods for Stranded Deep. You can see the newest mods that are here. And the one we're looking at today is obviously Stranded Wide. If you scroll down and go to Explore All Mods and then just go and find the Stranded Wide mod. Now, at the moment for me, I believe it's on page eight. Go to page eight. Here you go, there's a Stranded Wide mod. Okay, once selected, there are instructions down here on how to install. So first of all, you need to have the um, new version of Stranded Deep, so the 1.0.6 installed, and we need to download the zip file. So we go to Files, and Manual Download, and then we click the Slow Download. Don't worry, it's not slow, so you don't need to pay for the premium version. Just click Slow Download and you get your zip file. So if you have a look in your zip file, you'll see we have two files here, assembly C sharp and then assembly C sharp first pass. Now what we're doing is we're going to replace the original versions of these that we've got in our Stranded Deep folders with these new files here. So first of all, and this is a suggestion in the instructions, let's go back to the instructions to back up your vanilla files. So we want to find our Stranded Deep data managed folder, which as mentioned here, it's usually in your C drive program files x86. So let's go to my C drive, program files x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Stranded Deep, Stranded Deep data, and managed. And in here you see we have the two files as mentioned before, assembly C sharp and assembly C sharp first pass. Okay, so copy those and I suggest you paste them somewhere on your desktop or somewhere safe so you know where they are and you've got the backup. So I've got a folder here on my desktop called SD assembly backup. So paste the files in there and they're your backup files. So then next going back to the zip file that we opened with the new files for the mod, just take those, copy them, and paste them over the top of the files in the Stranded Deep Data Managed folder. So just replace them, and that's it. Then we can uh, load up the game. Now there are instructions on here again how to uninstall. So if you don't want to use the Stranded Wide, then you can obviously use your backup files and replace them. And just a note, it says here that once you've created this, it's got a new save folder for your Stranded Wide games. So if we take a look here in my app data, Bean Team Games, I've now got Stranded Deep and Stranded Wide where my new save games and maps, etc. will be for Stranded Wide. Right, so all we left to do now is start up the game. Now, first time you're loading the game with the Stranded Wide mod, it may take a little bit longer to load up, so do bear with it. It depends on your PC's performance, so it might take a little bit longer to load the whole big new map. If you use the Unity Mod Manager and you've got other mods on there, 
These will work with the stranded wide as well. If you're using the map mods, just make sure you tick the stranded wide world map so you get it working for stranded wide. Go to play, it'll be a new game. Yeah, we've just gone through the entrance scene and it's taken a little bit longer to load the world first time round. Now we're in on day one. We can see our starting island is a bit further away than normal. And if we spin round, we can't see any others. And that's it. That is how to load the Stranded Wide mod for Stranded Deep. Massive thanks to the Stranded Wide team that have been working on all of these mods, in particular Hand Core and Cat the Modders. There's a link in the description for the Stranded Wide Discord so you can join the Discord if you've got any questions about any of the mods. And do go and check out all the other mods that are available on Nexus Mods by Hand to Core and Cat. Thanks for watching, hope you found that useful. Please give us a like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers!